We're in continuing continuing operations at this a six alarm fire. We're in defensive defensive operations, so we have about 100 to 120 firefighters operating on the scene. As you can see, we have a, a number of aerial of aerial uh, elevated aerial master streams in place. We are um, awaiting the arrival of some specialized heavy excavation equipment. It's being transported here under police escort. Once it arrives, we'll put it in place, and I, I expect that our command team will give will make the decision to start to, to actually take a piece of the building apart so that we can access the seat of the fire. Uh, and a number of collapses involving that structure. The roof, uh, the roof is collapsing and falling in in various stages. We've seen uh, different segments of the walls begin to collapse, and, and I fully expect that that will continue. And everyone that was inside the building or known to be inside the building safely made it out. So that that's our top priority. Well, conditions have, have varied a lot. That has a lot to do with the wind. It has a lot to do with both the wind direction and speed. And as, as the wind varies and swirls around, we see it build. It also is indicative of the fact that um, as the building, you know, as, as certain collapses or certain building uh, changes happen over the course of the fire, we're, we're able to get more water on the seat of the fire. And then, of course, that changes as the condition changes. So, Because this is the biggest team effort we've seen in a long time. Uh, to deal with an extraordinary situation. Extraordinary both in terms of the uh, way this fire is set uh, in, in a very densely kind of built area and a very odd location to get at, uh, but also extraordinary in terms of the cooperation that they've exercised with one another. Uh, so for example, I was talking to people from the water department who made sure we took whatever steps they would take to have adequate water pressure here. Uh, the TTC obviously has been involved, the police have been involved, the fire service has been fantastic, and we've seen the full demonstration of what they can do when they have to do it. Uh, and various other uh, city officials, the, the EMS and paramedics, has been, uh, as the chief was just telling me, an extraordinary team effort.